I'll, I'll keep uh, posted on this group. So. Without a permit, you know, they get... I, I would think, but uh, Mr. Muhammad, too, potentially. You want what they're going to say or not? Well, you know how fired up it is. But... It is important to express our solidarity with the struggle and defense of the public sector that's taking place in the state of Wisconsin and that's expanding throughout this country as working people of all races, genders, sexual orientations, religions, ages, abilities and disabilities are coming together saying that we need to defend this public sector and whoever is against defending the public sector is against real, real democracy. Who are demanding public sector rights are demanding these rights as a way of defending the public sector. These workers who are school teachers, who are sanitation workers, who are health care workers, who take care of the people every day, need to have input in defining the working conditions that they work under so that quality care and quality services is placed above profits and giving corporate break, tax breaks to the rich. In North Carolina and most of the southern states, we are denied collective bargaining by law. This denial came out of a period called Jim Crow when there was an attempt to deny democratic rights for a large section of the people in this state, in this country, African Americans. Yeah. It took our struggle to end the Jim Crow, to open up the public sector where hundreds and thousands of black workers and women are now have jobs and pension and some measure of stability. An attack on the public sector is also an attack to create disability in among a section that has been discriminated for years and years and years in the development of this country. The international UN agency called the ILO, the International Labor Organization, responded to a complaint filed by the North Carolina Public Service Workers Union, UE150, finding that North Carolina is out of compliance with international law. It is called for the state of North Carolina and the United States to repeal the ban on collective bargaining rights and to come into compliance with the areas of the principles of democracy that is expected for all true democracies throughout this world. And today we come together to call on the state of North Carolina to repeal this ban and to deliver to them the ruling by the ILO and we call for all to defend us. Yeah.